some for pay, some for supporting good causes, some for developing one's competencies, and some for exploiting new competencies. But the key word here is self-directed. Self-directed. That means you have the power to make a choice, to make a decision about where you want to go in life. Can you manage your time well and multitask effectively? Consider having a portfolio career. Are you super organized and open to new opportunities? A portfolio career might be for you. Are you really, really creative and crave flexibility? A portfolio career might be for you. And you should pay attention to the word might. Do you all hear the word might? Might, because having a portfolio career takes a lot. It is not for everyone. Your skill set and your general outlook or your general approach to life must fit well. But then you say, how can I do this? How can I decide on this? Even as youth, we've usually had hear people say, oh, you need to decide on what you want to become. Oh, you need to find your true calling. Yes, you've had those pieces of advice before. Haven't you? What if you can't decide on just one thing? What if you have more than one calling? What if your love for country and others is so great you cannot give back in just one way? You're not strange. You are not strange. You're perfectly normal. Am I speaking to someone here? Yes. <laughs> well, like I said before, it's not for everyone. You can get advice on how to build a portfolio career from speaking to people, listening to others, doing research, looking at stuff online and the social media. There are lots of things. But I'm going to tell you about four things that makes building a portfolio career work for me. One, having a clear vision and not giving up. I've always wanted to attain the highest level of education that's possible for me, but it's also running a business. So imagine after coming back to Sierra Leone during your studies to do research, you spent most part of the holidays working on your paper and you've left, got back to the UK, arrived, opened your suitcase, and you discover that your laptop has been stolen. And at that point in time, I've not yet discovered Dropbox or Google Drive, and the hard, my external drive was also in the bag. Everything was gone. I had to start all over. Then you're running a business with your husband, Ebola struck. We can all, with our experience, we can all say what happened during that point in time. A lot of businesses died. But then you struggle to keep business going, struggling to pay your staff salaries. And then, by the grace of God, we overcame Ebola. You came back to reassess your business and how you can decide on the next step. And you discover that some of the staff have been stealing from you. It's actually right, but we did not give up. The business is still going. I did not give up because my laptop was stolen. I continued studying, and now I'm a doctor. So, 
set your eye on your vision and don't give up. Two, have an anchor job and let everything else revolve around it. Having a portfolio career doesn't mean you need to lose your sense of security. It is that sense of security that gives you the confidence to try and try different things, new things, and take steps into the unknown. For me, my anchor job is my passion, teaching. So I lecture and everything else revolves around it. The consulting, the running the business, the running the literacy foundation. Thirdly, have a strong support system and develop good networking skills. No man is an island. Nobody can do it all by themselves. For me, I'm grateful for my support system, especially my husband. He allows me to do all these things and supports me in achieving my dreams. And I'm always reaching out to people, people that are like-minded, people that are succeeding in their fields, people that can partner with in business. So having that strong support system and having this good networking skills have not only helped me to evolve and learn and develop as a person, it has also helped me to grow my business. Yes. Fourthly, learn, learn, keep learning and learn from the best. In life, you cannot stop learning. Even though I'm a doctor, I don't know everything. Every single day, I learn something new. So reach out to people. Allow yourself to be mentored. Do not be shy. Sometimes it's these conversations that help you find that missing direction in your life. So these are the four things that make a portfolio career work for me. But then, you might think, how can I mix and match all these things? A portfolio career might be a mix of two part-time jobs and volunteering. You might have just finished your exams and you have extra leisure time. You can tutor the neighbor kids for free or for some payment. A portfolio career can be working full time and running a business. So the possibilities are indeed endless. But every journey is not easy. Even for me, it has not always been easy. But by the grace of God, perseverance, dedication, sacrifice, and a good support system, I am where I am today. But today is not mostly about me. You can agree, right? It's about you. It is about you. Are you both excited? Yes. It's about how you process what you've heard and what you'll hear throughout the rest of the day. It's about how you look deep within yourself and gather that zeal to take a step into the unknown. It's about how you start thinking about how you can give back and contribute to national development in your own little way. It's about how you can use your extra leisure time and put it into more productive use. It's about how you can decide and know that it is possible for you to do more, to be better, and to develop your full potential. Maybe 
you're not just a world job kind of person. You do not always need to conform. Dare to be different. Do whatever it takes within the law to achieve your goals. There is greatness. I say it again. There is greatness buried deep inside every single one of us here. So all you have to do, yes? Are you listening? All you have to do is look inward and trigger your potential. Thank you.